guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm at the 2019 LA Auto Show. And of course, one car that's got some of you scratching your head is this all new 2020 Atlas Crossport. Let's talk a little bit about the Atlas. Remember, the Atlas is Volkswagen's largest vehicle in their lineup. What's interesting is that with this one, they've decided to kind of trim some of it off make it a little bit more sporty. And really they're taking a page from another auto manufacturer. They're ripping a page right out of the book of Honda because what Honda did was they took the Pilot, they trimmed it up and they made a Passport. That is the whole purpose of this vehicle is to give somebody who maybe doesn't need the full three row capability of all that space in something a little bit more, I guess, attractive looking that would bring younger buyers or maybe buyers that don't have large families into the Volkswagen fold. So let's go ahead and dive into this all new Atlas Crossboard. Right off the bat, what I love about it, it looks like an Atlas. Very, very large with the width, with the dimensions. You can see all LED lighting, LED daytime running lamps. And I think it's smart the way that Volkswagen is doing their brand recognizable daytime running lamps. When you see these vehicles going down the road, you kind of know it's a Volkswagen. As you drop down, there is a lot of gloss black, but you know what? It looks really, really good. You do have functional air curtains down there, a little bit of silver trim, and that's all you really need. Now, as we come across the large Atlas style grill, you have your horizontal chrome bars, but then you have some flat black in there. This one is an R-Spec model. Front facing camera, I am gonna zonk it because it looks like it, somebody stuck it on with some chewing gum as an afterthought. So they should have integrated that a little bit better into the actual grill. You come down, you have your horizontal slots. That kind of just unifies both sides together, but a very, very nice touch. Now, as we go up onto the hood, very powerful lines taken right off of the standard Atlas. And then when we come around the bend, this is where we're gonna see some changes, some differences from your standard Atlas. Now, you do have the flat black that goes around the fender arch, but you do, you do have these beautiful wheels. 21 inch wheel, dark uh, metallic gray, machined aluminum finish, really think that they hit the nail on the head with the style of that. It's a 265 on the width, 45 series on the sidewall, fits it to a T. Going down the side, I love the way they, they took the design here and put it in the door. You have your cross sport badging, a little bit of black, a little bit of silver, just enough. Nothing too gaudy. You can see that the roof line is still high, even though this is the cross sport, still high. You have your uh, flat silver roof rails. You could get your crossbars silver trim across the bottom portion and that very strong belt line which if you notice watch this watch this follow my finger so you have the belt the sharp line here goes into the trim and then follows all the way down up and over to the rear and i really like this part of the design concept gives it a very distinct look now as we come to the rear of the atlas cross sport very very clean and definitely very German Volkswagen-ish when it comes to, which that's a new word, I just get Volkswagen-ish. That's, I'm gonna trademark that. I'm actually gonna sell it to Volkswagen, so get ready for that. Full LED lighting, very, very sloped back, almost like a Lamborghini Urus type of rear glass or uh, the Audi Q8, the way it comes back. Little short roof spoiler, we drop down, we have the Atlas kind of, uh, it's not like stuck on, it's kind of built right into the trim. And I like that actually. That's the new updated Volkswagen logo. They actually cleaned it up a little bit. Bring us down. You got full, obviously, tow capability. And then one area that I'm gonna zonk are these fake exhaust vents. I don't know why they do that. Just leave it clean. And I think everybody would be happy. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering this Atlas Crossport. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. What you have underneath the hood of your Atlas Crossport, you actually have some choices, believe it or not. You can go like this one with a 3.6 liter V6, 276 horsepower, 266 pound-feet of torque. If you don't need the bigger engine, you're looking at a two liter inline four turbocharged engine, 235 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. If you need to tow anything, you gotta go V6. You're looking at about 5,000 pounds worth of towing capability. It's all made it to an eight-speed automatic. And if you want dimension numbers, this vehicle is almost three inches shorter than a standard Atlas and also two and a half inches lower, which is crazy. You do have a ventilated air suspension and lots of room underneath 
that hood in the engine compartment. But why don't we go ahead, check out the interior and see how the Crossport is different from the standard Atlas. All right, guys, like I said, you know, Volkswagen, very smart. Take a, p a page out of the playbook from Honda, create a Crossport, somebody who needs a little bit more space, but not that much space. Now let's see what you get in the Crossport. On the door panels, I really, really like the simplicity of German door panels, but this one has some beautiful white contrast stitching. You have some silver trim, which is a nice touch, and this faux carbon fiber, which I can live with. It's not trying too hard to look like ca carbon fiber. This one does have the optional Fender audio sound system. Now, when we go from the door panel to the dash, soft material up top, you have this pocket. This is the what I like to call the Twinkie roasting pocket up here. You put your Twinkies up there and they'll get nice and toasty on a hot summer day. But you have simulated stitching. There's our larger optional infotainment system. Of course, I would love to turn everything on for you, but you can't at an auto show. They don't allow that kind of stuff. We drop down, you have heated seats and ventilated seats. I'm very happy to say dual climate control, a nice cubby down here, full wireless charging, two USBs, an aux jack, and a 12 volt. So very smart. Thank you, Volkswagen, for doing that. We do have some of that infamous gloss black. Uh-oh, there goes the fingerprints. You know what? If you're in the FBI, you won't, you'll be able to pull prints real easy, no problem. But this is going to be controlling that eight-speed automatic. I like the brushed aluminum. We have a nice little drive mode selector. Ooh, I like the way that feels. It's got a nice positive click to each one. And guess what? It doesn't wobble all over the place like some other brands do. They're mode selectors. I feel like you could almost disconnect it and put it in your pocket, and then you could change modes while you're at work. Um, Start-stop button, conveniently placed. I like that. Nice, soft armrest that is very, very wide. You could put three people's arms here. If somebody from the back seat just wants to lay down an arm, let them. You got plenty of room. Open it up. Jeez, I'm telling you, if you are into Pringles, you could take your cans of Pringles, horizontally place them. You could probably put about six cans in there. Just don't stand them up because you're not going to be able to close this. I promise you that. You do have a USB in there. That closes nicely. And then seats. Love the material. Love the design. The stitching is great. And I think my favorite part is that, guess what? They're heated and they're ventilated. We can't forget, you get a beautiful panoramic sunroof, which I can't show you because I don't have power and can't start it up. But we will be bringing it to you from Rees Volkswagen. But get your butt over here. I want to show you behind the wheel of this Crossport. All right, guys. Business end behind the wheel of the all-new Atlas Crossport. Seating position is great. What's wonderful about it is that you do have full electric assist. You not only have one, not only have two, but three memory settings. So if you need to share this car with three different people, you're all good to go. You won't have to change anything. Steering wheel, I'm loving it. Flat uh, bottom to it. The new updated Volkswagen logo just looks cool and clean. I like the silver trim. I like holding on to it. It's got a nice thickness to it. The stitching is really beautiful. The buttons are flat. If you want to shift your Atlas Crossport, you can't, there's no paddle. So if you're gonna race this in some kind of road rally or something, you're gonna to have to manually shift it with the shifter down here. You could do that up and down. But what this does have is that Volkswagen style of virtual cockpit. Yes, I know, I can't show it to you, but it's there and it will light up. And I promise you from Reeves, we'll do the full drive review, but this has the bells and whistles that you want. Let's check out that back seat and see how much room you have. All right, guys, back seat time. This is the best part of this vehicle. You got tons of room in here. As you can see, same great seat material. I love the design. Leather all the way around the back. What's weird is, is they make these pockets so tight to the seat that really the only thing you're going to slide in there is maybe a credit card. So I don't know why those have to be so tight, but maybe over time they kind of stretch like a, like a new shoe or something. We have a wonderful command center with rear AC, heated seats back here. No ventilated seat, so that is a Zonk, but you do have two USBs, and look at this. Open the door, what do we have? A home power source. Close it, you don't see it anymore. But wonderful setup. We pulled down the armrest. Here's another Zonk. Why? Why, Volkswagen? You made all this room, and you gave us the world's smallest armrest and put cup holders in it. So if you're looking for an armrest, get yourself like a teddy bear or something and put it on that, because that's not going to work. But I do like the stitch work back here. And... When it comes to the seats, they do recline. So you could be a little bit more upright if you want, or you could recline. But let's go ahead, check out the cargo area of this Atlas Crossboard. All right, guys, time to check out the extra room that you have. You pre Look how fast that is. That's got to be the world's 
fastest hatch opening ever on Rady's Rides. Look at this. You see all that? That's all space. So without that third row, which think about it, that third row was tight anyways. We now have lots of room. You even have pockets on the side, which is wonderful. You do have interior lighting and then lift this up and you're going to get your spare in there. There's your fender. That's your subwoofer to really shake and rattle the windows in this thing. But tons of space. Those seats are going to do the 60-40 split and you can go get that 80 inch LED TV that you've been wanting for. You've been asking Santa for years. You could get it into the back of your Atlas Cross Sport. But if it's vehicles like these that you want to keep seeing on Rady's Rides, the new SUVs, they kind of trim and they tuck and they cut and they give you a new vehicle, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description, get yourself some Rady's Rides merch. I got to give it up to my lovely wife, Lori working the floor here. She's actually brought a nice calm feeling and it's really helping lots of people do their job, including me a lot better. So thank you, Lori, for all your hard work and dedication. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.